Garden City is home. It's always been home. It's a beautiful town. It's called Garden City for a reason. We have so many trees. I think it's a really welcoming place. It's a very family-oriented place. There's a great sense of community. I think it's an awesome town to settle down in. I'm Elise. And I'm Dan. And we're moving back to my hometown, Garden City, New York. We are living in New York City on the Upper West Side and we love it there, but we definitely want some more space. Our backyard <laughs> is Lincoln Center, uh, so to speak. <laughs> Which but, is pretty cool too, but. <laughs> but um, <laughs> no, I've never, I actually grew up in the city as well and I've never had a yard, so I'm very excited about it. Six weeks ago, we had our son, William, and he's amazing. Having a son was a huge part of uh, the reason we want to move back here. Having him potentially grow up uh, where I grew up is so special. I'm really excited. I think, you know, having met Elise seven years ago and got, having gotten to know the town, I'm ecstatic that we'll be growing a family here. It's an awesome place. So while Elise is out looking at places with Liz today, I'm actually looking after baby William, who's six weeks old. So we're gonna have a fun guy's day today. <laughs> Garden City is a great community. We're a 35 minute commute from New York City. We have five supervised parks in town, so the kids always have a place to go and hang out. Also on our main street, on 7th Street, there's always functions and activities. Garden City is just a great place to live. So this is the Dutch Colonial. It's built in 1927. It's walking distance to St. Paul's, as you know, so William will have no excuse to be late for his soccer practice. <laughs> Lovely. Four bedrooms, two and a half baths. Okay. I think you're gonna love it. Let's go in. I love a nice old house. You have a really nice foyer. The house presents really nicely in front of you, and that leads you into the living room. Beautiful. Look at the inlays on the floors. Oh, They're beautiful. The floors are stunning. Gorgeous. Really nice size room. Great light flow. You have east-west exposures. So you're gonna have natural light in here all day long. I love Dutch Colonials because they they do have such big rooms. Um, and this is great, like for entertaining, for holidays. So obviously you say you like to entertain. So you have a beautiful dining room. And you also have the French door that you can close right, off the kitchen. Right the kitchen. So if you are sitting for dinner, you can right, hide, close that hide off. the dishes. <laughs> so you have a great gourmet kitchen. Oh. The beautiful window over the sink. So you have a really nice view. Beautiful. And I love too that it's closed off to the family room. This is the area you're really, especially with a baby, uh -huh. you're gonna spend the most of your time. Very nice flow. I love how you can see through the whole house just from the foyer. Like exactly, it's, it's the presentation of yeah, the first floor to it's you. it's beautiful. On the second floor, there's four bedrooms. You wanna check it out? Sure. Right, let's go up. I really think you'll love the second floor because the primary suite is set off on its own. You have beautiful. three bedrooms. One is already in nursery, so that's Perfect. a good sign for you. Move in ready. Beautiful hall bath. Oh. Yeah, this Great is Great really soaking nice. tub. Oh, wow. And a separate walk-in shower. I love how much light this house gets. It's Natural light amazing. is so important. Makes your spaces look bigger. Yeah. You have a beautiful primary suite. Great space in here. You have a king-size bed. Plenty of room for furniture, and you do have a walk-in closet as well. I love it. A lot of space, little reading nook for my husband. He would love that. You want to take a look at the outside? Sure, let's do right, it. Let's head down. Okay. The house is situated on a quarter acre, so you have really nice backyard space. I think this is pretty ideal for us, as long as we could throw a football. Not too many houses even have a charming garage. Well, I'm glad you like this one, but don't make your mind up yet. <laughs> we have to see two more. Okay, sounds good. My favorite part about the Dutch Colonial was probably the fireplace. I love when you walk in, how it's immediately to your right, and it's kind of a statement to the whole home. This house was built in 1921. It's really a country colonial. 
It has a great front porch. Love that. Let's Beautiful. go in and check it out. Let's see it. So this house is a side hall colonial. Look at the beautiful inlays in the foyer. Beautiful floors. Opens into the living room with a wood-burning fireplace. You have great beams in the ceiling. Such an inviting room. You know, very comfy, cozy. Mm. And I know you love to entertain, so you have a really great dining room. Very nice. I love a long table. And I love the fact that it opens to the den. Yeah, so you have That's a really nice. nice circular traffic flow through the house. Yeah. And in this kitchen, the first thing that I'll show you is the fun little magic hidden refrigerator. That you don't amazing. even know it's there. That is so cool. Exactly. So the guests can't come and raid your fridge. Very high tech. <laughs> you have a really nice cooking kitchen, great counter space. Very nice. And on this level, you have a full bath. Okay. The second floor has four bedrooms. Let's go check it out. Great landing. Great landing. All four bedrooms are off the landing here. Very nice. And then you have your main bath. You have a jacuzzi tub. And you have a towel warmer. Oh. I know. That is very nice feature. Absolutely. <laughs> a little bit like a spa. <laughs> Love that. How does this space work for you? It's good. It's it's a nice size. Maybe adding a bath in the master will be something we would definitely do down the road. Um, there is space, I think, to do that. Let's take a look at the Yeah, master. let's take a look. So you have a really nice size room. You can see it's really spacious. And I think in this area, at yeah. least, you could definitely add an add ensuite bath. bathroom. Okay. And you do have a walk-in closet, so that's great That's as well. great. That's very needed. There's three additional bedrooms here as well. Very nice, very nice size rooms. Wanna take a look at the outside? Sure, let's do it. So this house is on an 80 by 100 lot. Has a great area again patio yeah. for outdoor entertaining. Does this space work for you out here? It does, it's definitely enough space for us. Um, it's pretty private, but I think we would want to add a little bit more coverage. Well, we have one more to see. Great. Let's head over. Let's head over there. The front porch was a great selling point for that house for us. To look out on a quiet street would be really lovely. I'm gonna call this the Fieldstone House because you have all the natural Fieldstone. Love it. Gives the house so much character. Now this house is four bedrooms, three and a half baths, so we have an additional bathroom. Okay, great. So this house has a center hall. So basically every room is accessible off this main hallway. Mm. Your dining room is here. You have beautiful cove moldings. Bay window is gorgeous. I love the light it lets in. Put a nice comforter there. Yeah, you could make it into like a like little, a little window, window seat. seat. Exactly, that's, that's what idea. I was thinking. So cute. Your living room is here. You have the wood burning fireplace. Yeah, it's a nice size. I think you'll love the back of the house. Let's see now, it. here you also have the pocket doors, so you can close okay. off the family room and the living room. That's nice. You have a great family room. A lot of space in here. And the entertainer in you yeah. will love the kitchen. You're wide open to the oh. kitchen. You have a great island. And you have a really nice eating area. Again, another bay window. So could you see yourself like living and entertaining in this space? Definitely. I could see myself cooking in this kitchen for sure. It's beautiful. I love the farm sink. I love being able to look into an open space. I, I do really like this. Oh. Now on the second floor, there's four bedrooms and three baths. Okay. So let's go upstairs and take a look. Yes, let's check it out. You have a whole extension of a primary suite in the family room below us. Okay. But here is the original primary. Oh, wow. Really nice size. Charming bath. So cute. Love the bathroom. Yeah, this is a great room. 
Well, if you love this, <laughs> you're really gonna love the primary. Let's give it a look. Really open and airy. You have two walk-in closets. I love the high ceilings, love the windows, love the ceiling fan. And there's an ensuite bath here as well. You have a steam shower, which I think actually is something Dan would love. He would love And you that. have the jacuzzi tub. Okay, love that it has a tub and a shower. Exactly. Very, very charming house. Great, I think you'll love the outside too. Let's, Let's go see. take a look. You have a great patio, nice for all your summer or just outdoor entertaining. Fully fenced in yard. Very you nice. You have an extra 10 feet of depth here. Great play space, as you can see. Yeah, beautiful space. I like the height of the trees. Look, no decision has to be made today. I think the best course of action is for you to go home, discuss it with Dan. If there's anything he wants to come back and see, we can certainly arrange for that. So discuss and just get back to me. Great. But I think now we need to get you home to Will. <laughs> Your baby awaits. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. Hi, Hi Danny. Well, hey, Will. So, were you looking at the photos I sent you? Yeah, they look great. How was it? It was great. The first one was Dutch Colonial. What'd you think? So I loved it. It looks like a nice property. Yeah, very symmetrical. I know you love that. The yard was very spacious and the location was great as well. Large rooms. The second house yeah. was Country Colonial. So that's this with the front porch, which is really okay. cute. Okay, it's a great porch. Yeah, I think it would be fun in that. the summer. Exactly. It didn't have a master bath. Oh, wow, okay. So that was a pretty big downside. Then the third one was field stone. Okay. So I love the stone. I really loved the kitchen, the family room. Big open space, good for entertaining. How was the location? The location was very good as well. Uh, I'd say the biggest con there was pretty small dining room. So Liz said we could see all three again. Sounds great, I'd love to check it out. Yeah, you should definitely check them out. I think you'll love them. Uh, it'll be a tough decision for sure. Um, I look forward to it. Yeah, let's go home. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hi everyone, we just wanted to let you know we picked the Dutch Colonial. We chose this house for many reasons. We love the kitchen and the family room right off of the kitchen. I'm a big cook, so I love that. Love the location, such a quiet, friendly, warm street. Great, great place to be. It's just, it's wonderful. We're so happy.